Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing back again with another video. Shout out to the LGBC. Smash that like and that subscribe button. Share the video always. Leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive screen news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. Hit that notification icon bell so you miss this heat that's been dropped every day from Urban Media Fix. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Tonight is the night. Make sure you hit that notification icon bell. Wednesday night, every Wednesday night, the LDBC. We get together and we do our live hangout. Smoke City Mobcast, so you make sure you tune in, you subscribe, share the video, like always, and you can call in so you can interact with the LDBC firsthand. So make sure you do that. Okay, no, let's get to it, man. You know, a lot of people talking about the, uh, the Mikey versus Lomachenko fight. Who will win? You know, uh, they need to make it happen. That's the fight everybody want to see. And, you know, I understand as boxing fans, we always want to see the next best, best thing immediately. We want to see, okay, what's next? Champion versus champion. We all do, but realistically, man, come on, man. Y'all guys, let's, let's be realistic. Y'all know damn well this fight, it's a possibility that this fight might not even happen being real. I mean, y'all gotta understand who we're dealing with here. We're dealing with Bob M. And Bob M. didn't even want to make let us make the, uh, the he didn't even want to make the Pacquiao and the Floyd Mayweather fight. So you thinking that he just gonna up and all of a sudden just make the the, the Mikey Garcia versus uh, Vasil Lomachenko fight? Especially when him and Mikey on, uh, just left off on bad terms? Come on, man. Y'all got y'all got to be realistic, man. I mean, bad as I want to see this fight, bro. I'm not I'm not too hyped up on it because I know it ain't gonna happen no time soon. I know we're not gonna get no unification right now and light and lightweight no time soon. For the simple fact that Bob Aaron is not gonna let that. He already came out of interviews talking about maybe when he's 90 years old and all this other shit. Yo, Bob Aaron, we dealing with stubborn ass Bob Aaron, man. The dude is stubborn. You know he uh, Bob Bob holds grudges and shit, man. As we already know this, hold grudges, and I just don't see him uh, making that happen right now. I, I just don't. I don't see him making that fight happen right now. Uh, as far as like, and I'm gonna tell you another reason why. Yesterday, Ellie, Ellie did an interview with, with uh, Robert and uh, Keitha, right? They're talking about Mikey and Lomachenko. And, no, and with uh, Mikey. Mikey was there, too. And basically was talking about, uh, you know, how would that fight, if it was to go down, what would need to take place in order for that fight to, you know, to happen. And, Mike, not, and Mikey was basically saying that uh, basically, Aaron will have to step to the side, man, to make that fight happen. And and he ain't going to... They, they basically kind of cut Aaron out the deal to a certain degree. And that ain't, that, that's not going to happen. Bob, Bob, see, the thing is, he, oh, this is what he said. He said, just said the purse was a $10 million purse. He says he makes double... He says he makes double or three times more than what Lomachenko makes and, and, his, and made in his last fight or in his last couple of fights. So he said if the purse was a $10 million purse and he paid Lomachenko 2.5 or 3 million, whatever the fuck it was, he said, he said that, uh, and he get what he get, he says Bob Aaron basically wouldn't get nothing. Basically. And he said that's not gonna happen because he says Bob Aaron wants the six million for himself. So y'all do y'all y'all put y'all you know y'all do the math. You put your own uh, pieces to the puzzle together, uh, form your own conclusion, and whatever, man. But logically, thinking of uh, looking at it logically and, and 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 thinking about it, the only way it could happen, man, is if. If Bob Aram let Top Rank go or he retires or whatever, a step down, whatever the case may be, 
or you know, I, don't, I ain't gonna say nothing if anything happened because I don't wanna wish that on anybody. But you gotta understand, man, Bob is 80, what, four years old, 85? If he ain't retired by now, guys, this dude ain't gonna retire. I mean, think about it. If he retired, shit, he, he, look, this is what I'm saying. If you 80 something years old still doing what you, what you've been doing all your life pretty much, and you ain't let it go, you ain't just stopped and just relaxed and chill. Hey man, this is what you gonna do until it's over with. And I hate to say this, this is what Bob Aram gonna do pretty much until the day he died. Just, just be a promoter. He's gonna run and control our, our, uh, top rank with an iron fist until the day he dies. That's just the truth of it. I mean, think about it. If he retired right now at 80 some years old, what the fuck is he gonna do? What he gonna do that he ain't doing now, sort of say. He probably already doing the shit now. He just, you know, pick his times when he do it because he's a little bit more busy. It's scheduled. But I'm pretty sure he got, if he want guys to fill in for him or whatever, he could do that. I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem. But look, man, I want this fight bad. Trust me. But I'm just gonna be real, man. I don't see this fight happening no time soon. I wouldn't even be surprised if the fight didn't happen. Bob Aram got a point to prove. It's hard, it's hard to, it's hard to stare a, a stubborn old man into seeing things your way. Especially when he don't respect your damn opinion or your, or, or your thoughts or whatever the case may be. And he don't give a damn. But I see it's a lot of uh, war words going around. All oh, the people mix, mix up who win. Mikey Garcia, you know, Lomachenko. Look, man, I'm a huge Mikey Garcia fan. I like Lomachenko. I'm fucking with Lomachenko as well. But to be honest with you, man, I, I probably would lean. I don't know, man. I don't know who will win, to be honest with you. At first, I used to always think that uh, Mikey would stop Lomachenko, and sometimes I still do. Sometimes I still do, but at the end of the day, we don't know. I don't know. This, this is how much of a good, close and competitive fight this is. I don't know. I don't know. You know, like these last couple of days, I feel like it's 50-50. At some parts of the day, I feel like it's 45-55. Uh, uh, Leaning towards Mikey a little bit. I haven't got to the point where I, I, I gave Lomachenko a slight edge yet. But right now, I'm just going to say it's 50-50 fight, man. It's a good fight. Definitely uh, uh, look forward to seeing this fight. Love to see it. But let's just be realistic, man. This shit ain't happening right now. <laughs> this shit is not going to happen, bro. Shit, uh, you, you, uh, Bob Aram, look, the only way he'd make that fight is if Lomachenko got the most advantages on his side to bring that W, to bring the belts on the top rank. Bob Aram ain't going out like that. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna make that fight with it being a 50 50 fight. See, Bob Aram knew that Lomach Lomachenko could beat Jose, uh, Jorge Linares. He knew that. That's why he made the fight. But see, with the Floyd situation, you know, he kind of almost didn't have a choice. He had a choice, but he went on ahead and did the right thing because he, the walls was closing in on him. But it'd be interesting to see if the fans, if we can put enough pressure on Bob to make him make this fight. It'd be interesting to see that. So. I don't know, man. Anything is possible. I'm not going to rule it out. Let's see, man. If we can get this thing ruling and bro boiling and, and on the road, hyping it up, we'll see, man. See what the outcome is. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think that, that we can fight, uh, hype this, this fight up and get, get Bob Aram on the right track, make him do the right thing? Or we just spinning our wheels fucking with Bob Aram and being the uh, drain from as boxing fans from already dealing with Eddie Hearn and all this other shit. 
But I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. That's what we do. We fans. We fight for what we want. Pay for what we want. So, it's all up to y'all, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy, JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share,